off as a child who belonged to no one, a street kid who began running away at the age of five. Marnie Grunman's memoir, Missing, a true story of a childhood lost, is a chilling account of a young girl surviving on the streets. Witnessing firsthand the worst of humanity, Grunman opens up about the atrocities she endured as a child. It is not a story of suffering, though, but rather a journey from stolen childhood to empowered woman. And that empowered woman, author, artist, and mother of three, Marnie Grunman. Grunman joins me now. Thanks so much. It's nice to see you. Nice to be here. Thank I said you. as you walked in, I'm halfway through your book and I wanted to give you a <laughs> hug. It's painful to read. Yeah. It must have been very tough to write. Yeah, it was very painful to write. It was also very cathartic to write, though. Uh, what I discovered was that because I wrote my story and, and I spent some time really thinking about it and reliving it as a result, it really healed me. Had I known I, it would have done that, I would have done it years ago. <laughs> so it's well, had a good effect. Why did you decide to do it at this point in your life? Um, I think part of it was I was ready. Um, part of it is that I really recognize that people have a particular way that they view runaways and homeless youth, and that needs to change. I also wanted recovering runaways to have a resource to go to where they could connect like they I felt very alone in the experiences that I went through and unless you've actually lived on the streets and and been forced out of your home under those circumstances you can't you know you don't you don't get it let's so. talk a little bit about your circumstances it's it's tough it's a tough story yeah uh, you tell the story of your mother pushing you out a window throwing you out a window yeah. as a toddler yeah. to get insurance money from your broken bones yeah it, five years old she dropped me out of a two-story window and and really I mean the abuse started so much earlier than that. Um, she had issues with substances and there was a lot of neglect, a lot of emotional abuse. Um, she's just a very angry person unfortunately mm -hmm. through whatever you know her background was which I don't know because I wasn't living with my grandparents as her being through her experience. So. Yeah, you ended up living with your grandparents right. here in Montreal for a good part of your life and yes. through that time you're constantly running away trying to find your father, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, constantly. I had one visit with him when I was around five and it impacted me so greatly. He was so kind and I just thought, you know, in my little five-year-old, six-year-old brain he would rescue me. Um, fortunately for me, eventually we developed a, a, an amazing relationship later on in life, and I'm, I'm really fortunate that I had that. But at the time, that's what I was doing. I was running to find him, and nobody knew what I was doing, because even when I got caught, I wouldn't answer. I wouldn't say, oh, well, I'm trying to find my dad. I just would remain silent. You would try to be the good girl. The good as girl, you say yes. In your book. Yeah. As so many people who've suffered abuse, that's what they turn to. They yeah. just try so hard to change themselves. E right? Even as an adult, it's a struggle. I mean, I'm going to be 51 on Sunday. And uh, thank you. I'm but in the 50 it, club too. So, like, it's all good, right? Yeah, it's a good But place it, it's to be. not like I think that uh, a lot of people take it for granted being able to express themselves a certain way, especially in a close emotional relationship. For someone with an abuse background, we think it through and think it through like it just doesn't come naturally. Mm -hmm. So it's always a work in progress. So 13, you ran away for good. At yes. that point, you ended up on the streets for three years. I did. You had moved from Montreal by then. You were in Miami. Mm -hmm. um, your experiences were horrific, really. Yeah. Well, you know, living on park benches, not having the benefit of, you know, taking a shower or food. Um, there were times three, four days would go by. And so, yeah, it was, it was uh, challenging is not quite the right word, but it, it's what a lot of children are living with right now. You know, when you see a kid on the streets, that's what they're living. That's their reality. Mm. You managed to turn it around. You have three children now. Uh, two of your children wrote the introductions to this yeah. book. You are a story. You call it Sir Thriving. What yeah. message do you want to tell to young people um, who are thinking of running, who have run, about surviving, um, Sir Thriving? It? Well, first of all, you can make it through. Uh, if I made it through, you can make it through. I'm no more uh, special or less special than anybody else. And the other thing that I would say to them, which I didn't have, is to reach out. Reach out to, there's Covenant House, there's all sorts of organizations. Most kids are on Facebook or, or you know, some sort of social media platform these days. There's numbers that you can call that are anonymous to get some help. So maybe if you need to leave the home, you don't leave to go onto the streets. You leave to go into some other safe haven that it's available to you. And for those of us walking on the streets, passing these young people, what should we be doing for 
for them. Um, well, feeding them for starts. Uh, I, I'm not a big giver of money because you just don't know if they have a substance issue or not or what they're going to use it for. Of all ages, I don't care if it's a young person or, or an older person. But at least take the time to be kind. Take the time to feed them. Take the time to say, is there somewhere I can take you? Is there somewhere I can get you help? What can I do for you? They're human. You know, we need to give them humanity. Marnie, thank you so much. Thank you. That is uh, former Montrealer Marnie Grunman on her book, Missing a True Story of a Childhood Loss. I urge you to read this book. It will change how you see runaways. To purchase the book or learn more about Marnie's story of survival, visit the website at marniegrunman.com.